Okay, so today I'm going to be assembling this twin size bunk bed with a futon on the bottom. It says right here it's going to take two adults to assemble and it's going to take about an hour. Uh, it took me about two hours and I did it by myself, so maybe with two people it could take an hour. I doubt it. Uh, this screwdriver is not provided. That's just so funny to me because they don't show the actual head of the screwdriver or anything like that. So it's just very vague and I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, so here's the instru well, the front of the instructions and here's the actual futon after I've finished uh, everything on it. I'm just going to show you guys quickly just, you know, what it looks like at the very end. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll have a clip of the uh, little boy enjoying his new bed. And this is, uh, you know, I'm building this for a little boy and his mother. His mother's going to sleep on the bottom and he's going to sleep up top. Uh, they just moved in, so they needed a bed, so I'm going to assemble it for them. You can see a few extra parts there. There's a mesh. That's it across from the ladder that holds that little table and there's a little stand that you can put on there not a little stand but a little basket you can put on there which it wouldn't have worked because it's up against the wall first off and second off it, I didn't want to put it on there because it was so bad like the basket was just falling apart before I, I mean, as soon as I just finished it so I, I thought it'd be better just to leave it off there before the little boy breaks it <laughs> and then actually hurt somebody or break something worse because he broke that first part. Um, here we have me putting everything together. Uh, like I said, it's sped up 16 times. Um, that's still not fast enough to me because these screws were so hard to put in there. Uh, you can't... Here, I was just staying hydrated and checking the camera. Uh, you can't put any of the screws in with your thumbs. Like, normally you can thumb... Yeah, or you can like twist this, the, the screw in there with your fingers a little bit and tighten it the rest of the way. With these you could only tighten. You can only put them in there with your thumb barely, and the like. Oh, at least seventy-five percent of the way you had to tighten it with the bolt. Yeah, I mean with the, the little Allen key. I guess it's good because they put thread lock on every bolt and it made sure that the bolts won't vibrate themselves out of the holes and break the bed frame. But at the same time, it's pretty dang annoying. Uh, they could have used other things like lock washers. They did have a washer for every single uh, bolt, so they could have maybe added a little bit of extra money and used uh, lock washers, but I doubt they'll ever do that or take my advice. So uh, no point in complaining about that one. Uh, just took a little extra time because of it. And I don't actually see how two people could assemble this with one little Allen key because they only give you one little Allen key and then you have to thread every bolt in with that Allen key. So I really don't even know how two people could assemble this. Maybe one person hold certain things up, but really after this point in time here, uh, after I get the top portion frame gate rail thingies on there, there's pretty much nothing else I need held up. And another thing, the on the on the subject of tools, the the wrench that you only have to tighten like eight bolts, which I guess is probably why the the wrench is so badly manufactured. The wrench is just a very thin piece of maybe eighteen gauge steel sheet metal, and I'm thinking, what the heck? This thing is sheet metal. This is not a wrench, uh, and, and it was um, pressed into like a little Y shape or not a, not pressed into a Y shape but it had a Y shape pressed into it so it was first cut out and then pressed so that it has more rigidity along the spine of the tool but I mean good thing they pressed it I guess <laughs> but it was pretty bad that that uh, wrench well, I mean I guess it got the job done but I still had to bend it back in place a couple of times here you can see my mom taking the old mattress out of the way, or well, old box from bring out of the way. This video is actually um, not to showcase my ability to build and assemble these IKEA furniture, but it's actually just mostly to test my recording setups. Uh, I have a, I have my smartphone on a tripod and uh, see what kind of video quality I can get out of that, and uh, see what kind of audio quality I can get out of this microphone I have. 
uh, see what kind of things I can do with the video editing software. You know, this is a very beginner video for me, and I want to try and make some better quality videos than what I've been making on my channel recently. Well, not recently, but what I've been making on my channel. So that's what this is, an endeavor to become better. So a lot of my videos might be uh, bad in the be at the beginning of this uh, little renaissance of mine, uh, but I, I hope that I will be making better video quality and better audio quality and stuff like that. Uh, so I guess I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully, uh, record the rest of the uh, record a little clip of the child enjoying his bed. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, peace out. I'll sure, I'll be sure to add a little extra narration at the very end, but uh, peace out for now.